Welcome to Deep Thought. Real vampires. You know what? I thought about this um, the other day because, you know, I remember, people probably remember a few years ago, vampires all the rage, you know, especially those glittery ones. <laughs> and you even have a, a vampire subculture. You know, uh, some of them call themselves psychic and all of that. And, you know, they're aware of the stuff. And, you know, okay. That's cool. That's whatever. But there are indeed real vampires out there. And it's not a romantic thing. It's not a pretty thing. You know, it's one of those things where you have people who just by their very nature drain the energy off of others. Some do it unconsciously, some do it consciously. And it's not really a good thing. It's not really a good thing. Because what it is, it's they do have a need for the energy. They, they do have a need. They may not have the energy themselves, but they know how to draw it off of another person. And trust me, they, they ain't really in any subcultures or anything like that. These are maybe everyday people that you might interact with. You know, it could be a family member. It could be uh, somebody you know. It could be a co-worker. You know, and they'll do things to draw emotional energy off of you. They'll do things and they'll have some actions. You know, they'll do they'll do some things. It's it's like when you're around them, you uh you'll feel drained. You don't feel as happy, you know, like and they'll have, you know, they'll have different ways of doing it. Sometimes they might be they might be that person who's real depressed and stuff like you, you feeling good. And then they get around you and they start dumping their problems or on you or something or talking all of a sudden you not feeling good, but they feeling great. They feeling great because you giving them some attention. You know, that's one you could have some people who consciously do that because, you know, because of the darkness in their heart, they see that you're smiling. They see that you're happy, and they just want to break it down. Those are the real worst ones, like the ones who might just do it just uh, because they just need the energy, they're unconscious. You know, you could probably give them some help, you know, and they might have some deeper issues such as abandonment issues or something or a victim mentality where they just they empowered by being a victim, and if they can bring you down to their level, but the worst ones are the ones who might do it consciously. And trust me, they, they you know, they ain't going to have any costumes or fangs. And sometimes, unfortunately, they can be in a position where of uh, leadership or something where people can pay attention to them. But the thing is, they get the energy from other people. So you understand something, right? Understand something. All of us are energy beings. Now, I realize some paths might not believe that, but it's energy. It's, it's, it's energy. I mean, medical science has actually measured this energy. But then some people, their energy might not be as vibrant as others. And they feel like they have to interact with someone else to get their energy. And, you know, and that, in some ways that's normal because when people deal with each other, they can either be energized or they can be depleted. Just and really just on a normal thing. But the real vampires are just doing it to a new level, a different level. You know? And it could it it, it could be depending on the situation. Well, it's never good for the quote unquote victim. Like for example, say you're a man who has a ton of vitality. Like a ton of it, like you all energetic, you outgoing. You get with that woman who, you know, the man, you find her attractive for whatever reason. And she might seem mousy or whatever, real quiet. But then she's a real vampire. She's gradually drawing that vitality off of you, off the man, into the point where he no longer has it. Sometimes we may see those situations. 
you know, you ever see that guy who was real gregarious, real out there, and then he'll deal with that woman after a few years, he seemed timid and all of that? He's dealing with a vampire. And it, the reverse happened with some women. The reverse happened with some women. Now, in those relationship situations, most of the time it's, uh, you know, it's a kind of an unconscious thing. But like I said, the more conscious ones, now those are some real dangers. Those are some real dangers. Like, uh, like I've talked before about demon lovers. They actually go for your spirit. And they actually purposely do it. They, those are the type. Those are the type, they can see that you're a happy person. They, In fact, they can see you in a happy relationship, right? And they, they will, like, do something to kill that happiness. And it's something people got to pay attention to because we really just, we live in a sea of energy. We always interact. And, it, like, if, uh, for example, you can feel that energy. You ever been that person, like, you, like, somebody just walked past you and you feel a shudder. That's that energy. That's that energy. You feeling it off of that person. You're like, ooh, what the heck? It was like, mm, you, that tells you on a subliminal level. Well, not even that subliminal, an energetic level. Um, you kind of need to keep a distance from this person. <laughs> you kind of need to keep a distance from this person. Now, that might be the unconscious one, but the conscious ones, you know, they really, they really tap into something. They really tap into it, and the extremely conscious ones, they might even have a target. Now, like I said, I know there's some people who identify with uh, that. They'll call themselves vampires, but I'm going to just be real with you. The real ones, the real energetic ones, they probably avoid any like significant groups like that because it's not something they talk about. They know what they're doing. And, you know, the conscious ones, they, they, they know that they are taking something from a person, something very fundamental, you know? These are the people who can, like, be abusive in everything. And it's uh, it's something to pay attention to, because I always say it. You can hurt somebody far more efficiently without putting a gun to their head or beating them, but you, you're doing something to their spirit, you know? It's like you're a spirit killer, a soul killer or something. Right. And I would say this, anybody out there, when you're around a person, right? When you are around a person, you really need to pay attention to how you feel when you're around that person. You really need to pay attention to how you feel, your energy and everything. If you don't feel a good energy around that person, get away. Get away. Because you might just be the next mark. But there's another level to that type of energy and that type of feeling that I'm going to talk about in the next episode. But I just wanted to do that. Like I said, sometimes when I do these podcasts on the Deep Thought channel, I'm moved by spirit or something. I might just see something or something just pops in my head and say, hey, I need to talk about this. Because it is a reality out there. There's a lot of things out here that... uh, happen but people don't talk about they see it happening but you know we gloss over it or sometimes if a person is in the wrong position they might even think it's normal but it's not so I want y'all to think about that and just be careful when you're around anybody in, in the energy and how your energy feels and I'm gonna get it more into that in the next one all right so anyway I'll talk to y'all later peace and blessings